Hello everybody, welcome back to Arthur Next Plays Darkest Dungeon. Alright, we just got back from our first six can't talk. Our first successful long adventure. Now we're gonna do our town stuff. Fortunately we have quite a bit of gold to do it with. So we're sending these guys out. I think my first priority is going to be to go to the blacksmith. And I'm going to start by, since we have plenty of deeds, I can upgrade either my weapons or my armor to rank 3. Hmm. Let me go for the weapons first. Okay. So you are already rank 2. You can't get rank 3 until you get to resolve level 2. So you're all leveled up, but you still need upgrades. Okay, then we'll go to the guild. And we're still quite a few portraits away and a bunch of crests away as well from upgrading our guild. But we can get you a bunch of skills. So more accuracy on your chop. Yes, please. More accuracy on your hue. I'll take that. Um... I don't think you, you don't use purge. Or do you? No, you use withstand and solemnity, the stress heal and the uh, self heal. Yeah, might as well. Okay. Now let's rush. More accuracy. Same amount of bleed, but a better chance to inflict bleed. Guard dog. Not sure if you use that enough. Take that for sure. Higher base chance to stun. Eh. I don't think that's I don't think I need to buy that right now. Alright. Pick to the face. Yes, please. I don't really care about lunge. Um, grab that. And I'll grab that too. Uh, is, is there another skill that I would like to give you? You can cure your own blight bleed, give yourself 10 dodge, or you can get an AoE effect, 33% damage on the middle two. I'd rather have that, and I'd certainly rather have it than lunge. So I'm going to go ahead and try that and upgrade it. And then I'm going to get rid of lunge in favor of flashing daggers. And then you definitely upgrade judgment. Definitely upgrade Dazzling Light. Definitely upgrade Divine Grace. Definitely upgrade Divine Comfort. Okay. Well, it's fairly pricey, but hopefully worth it. I just want to take a quick look at camping skills for you guys. Do you have any skills that prevent nighttime ambush? Yes, you do. You have Hound's Watch, which is actually quite good. Right. This is stress on him. It reduces stress on him. It can potentially reduce stress for everybody. Hmm. 
quite a few reduced stresses. Do I have any heals? Looks like I have that many. Yeah, one wound care. <laughs> release the hound plus 50% scouting chance that's really that's a really good buff that's not bad I don't want to pay for any of that though That could potentially be really good. That could also potentially be really good. How much would those cost? I'm not sure they're that good. Hmm. Well, let's see. I'll think about it. All right. Do we have negative quirk we'd like to get rid of? Everybody in our party has Dacomania. Yeah, I would like to get rid of that. Fear of Unholy. Okay. I don't think it's worth paying the extra money to get rid of either of those. to the point where we can think about removing things that I don't care as much about. But still, I re we really don't have anything. Uh, maybe... This doesn't seem to be worth the gold to get rid of that. Alright, I guess I won't send anybody else to the sanitarium. Save the money. Okay, stress relief. Could use some stress relief. Send you here. here. You're the one who, who really likes alcohol. So I'll send you here. All right. Take a quick look at our stagecoach. No new classes. I spent my deeds on the blacksmith, so no point in that. Takes care of all of our in-town stuff. So 12,000 gold left. I think the first thing I'm going to do is spend the money... 
upgrade these guys. Rather than get more camping skills. Can't upgrade her. And I think I'll send them to the guild as well. Whoops. Not need to upgrade Noxious Blast. Because. I need to take Blinding Gas instead. Well, I spent maybe a little bit more money than I meant to, but we're definitely going to sell some trinkets, so we should be able to make it back with that. Alright, this is officially getting sold. Yep, our third camper's helmet is getting sold. Yeah, I think I can sell this. I guess I'll keep that for now. All right. So we got <clears throat> gold is back up to looking good. We've upgraded some people we're actually not going to use on this adventure, so we're planning ahead. We will set up our next party starting with trinkets so you need where's the healing trinket This one. You need the healing trinket. And that as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. You. Do I have any good grave rubber trinkets? I don't think I do. Alright, you can take that. That. You can take this, come back to you, you I'm going to give you that. 13% protection seems pretty good. And... You can have that too. Yeah, you can have that. The whistle. 31 dodge. <laughs> 31. Wow. All right. We got trinkets. 
Alright, what trinket are we getting here? Book of Sanity, minus 20% stress damage. That's not bad. Let's see what else we got. Berserk Charm, plus 3 speed, plus 15% damage, minus 15% stress damage, minus, 15, uh, minus 5 accuracy, 10% virtue chance, no thank you. Bullseye Bandana, plus 8 accuracy, plus 2% crit, minus 4 dodge, that's quite good. Long Exterminate, that's not an attractive mission. Not that interested, no, we're not going on... We're not going on a veteran mission. So this leaves this. Plus 2% crit, plus 5 dodge. Kill the wise and hag. Well, this group is the group that destroyed the necromancer. I think it's I think it's high time we kill the wise and hag. So, I think I'm gonna go for this. Even though I don't know, maybe well. I don't know how good this book is because I don't think I would take it with me on any of my current adventures. Do I take this one? Plus at eight accuracy plus two percent crit. I probably would have my arbalist use this. I probably would. So maybe I should do this one. All right, we'll do this one. Well, we're kind of wasting resources, though, if we keep doing wheeled missions that aren't clearing a path to the next boss. Alright, we'll do the boss. This is a pretty good trinket. I can see myself possibly using it. And the, the Arbalus trinket is good, but it's not amazing. So, Alright, we'll give this a shot. See how well this group fares against the Wizened Hag. All right, so we're going back to the wield. I want to bring a couple extra shovels, a couple of keys, a full stack of food, two full stacks of torches. I'm actually half tempted to bring a fourth shovel, but I think I'll restrain myself. Also half tempted to bring a holy water, but I think I'll let that go as well. Nah, it's worth a, it's worth a, a small expense. I'll bring one holy water. Okay, just in case we encounter another one of those effigies, because those are, I mean, a hundred percent chance of a positive quirk is quite good. All right, I got torches. I got food. I got shovels. Hey, let's go see if we can kill the hag. I collected many rare and elusive volumes on ancient herbal properties, and was set to enjoy several weeks immersed in comfortable study. My work was interrupted, however, by a singularly striking young woman who insisted on repeated calls to the house. There is method in the wild corruption here. It bears a form both wretched and malevolent. Alright, is there any way she's not down here at the end of this? I don't think so. I'm just going to head straight there and assume that that's where she is. Alright, we immediately find a graveyard. 
this is why I brought three shovels. Dogs. Let's see if we can go AoE on these guys. Finish that one off. Destroy them all. Miss. Oh, we kill two out of three. He did not take the cure self ability. Again? Treasure back there. Oh well. Uh, need a bandage for that. I don't think we have one. No, we don't. I'll pass it online. Whoops. Watch your step. That wasn't my fault. I should have been able to disarm that trap. Okay, alright, we got a fight, so light the torch. Alright, hmm. Was the right. It was the right decision. Yeah, 31 dodge paying off. Dodge again. Yeah, suck it. Can't hit me. I'm shifty. Judgment on that guy for three measly damage. Do a bounce rush on him for seven. And bleed. And. Yeah. Let's do an AoE. Might have been a mistake. Minus five dodge. The face. The fiend falls. I love that name. Hope blossoms. <laughs> uh, he is marked. He's probably going to get attacked. Let's do guard dog. And you. Let's do a stun. No more of that. Uh, who's got less? You have slightly less. Start making these. Ren the marked. Dodge. That's why you did the guard dog. Ren the marked. Dodge. His dodge is quite high at the moment. <laughs> uh, pick to the face! Suck it! Uh, let's do this again. Oh, I got it. That's right. I got a guard. guard her. Now that there's only one hit, one guy left, I think we can afford to stop and do a heal. Chop. Keep chopping wood. Oh, you actually hit him? That's not allowed. 
Pick to the face! Alright, heal yourself. You've been judged and found dead. There's a bandage. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Alright, unfortunately we got an obstacle, but we still have a couple of shovels left. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. Uh, we do have some medicinal herbs. I would not mind trading them for some more food. So, we will do that. Whoa, that's a lot of food. Are all of our people at full health? They are. Uh, then we got a tree. What do we do with this? Anti-venom. Don't have any anti-venom. Uh, but I think that one's still worth investigating, even with no anti-venom. So... Yeah, let's have you do it. Lighted. Well, you'll take six damage. You'll heal yourself with judgment. It'll be a big deal. Alright, there's a look. There's anything in here? And we got two fights in quick succession at the end of this. Mummified corpse. Need a bandage for that. Well, we have a bandage. Um. Okay. Drink it and some gold. Light the torch back up. Go ahead and eat some food. Might as well. We have so much of it. Yeah, is there any doubt? Pick to the face! Oh, doesn't quite kill him. That's too bad. Ow. At least we're not bleeding. Um, chop. Chop the one who hasn't gone yet. That's too bad. Judgment on you to kill. Yeah, the Hounds Rush, the one hasn't gone yet. I don't think there was any chance of getting a kill, but it's worth an extra point of bleed damage. Ow. Speak to the base! That. Uh, okay, now we can heal ourselves up a little bit. Plus healing trinket is really good. Uh, let's do a chop. Hey, okay. healing you. So much food, I think we can afford to just end this fight. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. You can eat to regain some hit points. Okay, works for me. How's our light? It'll still be good. Next fight. supposed to dodge that. Well, at least you resisted. Uh, hmm. You're going first. That's a little bit unusual. Let's do a judgment on you. 
nicely struck. And you can follow it up with a pick to the face! Bam. Alright, now you can do a Hound's Rush on the back. Do a chop on this guy and miss. Ooh, suck it. Keep pounding the guy in the back. And we'll dodge everybody but that guy. Hmm. Uh, let's do a thrown dagger on you. There we go. Try this again. Woo! That guy is like Mr. Superman. Doesn't miss and can't be hit. What about judgment? Oh! Fortunately, we got your kryptonite right here. Uh, so much for you, buddy. Resist. So, oh, good old reliable pick to the face. Uh, yeah. There we go. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Hey, why don't you eat some food? Skip. Oh well. I skipped a curio. I don't know what it was. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Boss fight? Yes. I did bring a key, didn't I? I did. Good. And there's an obstacle there. We still have exactly one shovel left. All right, let's camp. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable, rats in a maze. All right, so you can do a hound's watch. And pretty much just focus on buffs if we have any. Plus 10 accuracy plus 5% crit for 3. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Protection for everybody. Five, five, and fifteen. Excellent. And then we'll have you do this. We have one left, which we can only use for pilfer. We got some medicinal herbs, which we probably won't use. But, you know, we can have them. It eliminates combat debuffs that might be useful in the boss fight. I don't know. Okay, rest. That's definitely true. We have no stress and full health on every character. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Hmm. I'll probably use that. Right, 
don't miss. Secret door. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Touch the rest of those. Make those three. Our last shovel. Max out our torch. Safety. Yeah, maybe I can only use those in combat. Alright, here we go. One wise and hag. Twisted and maniacal. A slathering testament to the powers of corruption. Alright. Third and fourth position, huh? Let's see. I'm already at 90% chance to hit. What's your blight? Your, you have really good blight resist, so poison darts doesn't seem to be that good. There's nobody in the pod at the moment. I remember seeing this mechanic from an earlier Let's Play way back in the beginning of the beta, so it'll be interesting to see if this changes. Alright, pick to the face! Let's just have you focus on beating him down, and he can beat the pot. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Uh, do you're 100% you're, you're stun resistance? Okay. All right. Judgment. You have. You don't actually have that many hit points. Break the pot. Alright, I can do that. Uh, still get to go this round. Enderizer again. She's taking quite a bit of damage. Still have six hit points left, though. Uh, let's move you back. Uh, oof. Can't do Hound's Rush from the front position. Dog doesn't, doesn't seem to be much point to doing guard dog. Alright, swap. Four damage. Death waits for the slightest the dog is in a crit. Go figure. Down to 28 health. I think we can afford to let him stew in the pot for a little bit. Still has some left. Got 
one hit point. She's dead. Leave her corpse to rot. Consumed by the spores she spawned. Oh, I forgot to use those. Whoops. Hmm. Do I want to continue on this adventure is the question. I still have quite a bit of food. I don't have a ton of space left for loot. No, I think I'll just call it good. So... Doesn't really matter what I'll ditch. I'll ditch those. Control of those. And... We will head back. I found the still. I mean, finding anytime you find the secret uh, secret room with a key, it's going to be a lucrative adventure. Not very many, uh, not very many heirlooms, but we did get six deeds and four crests from the actual quest itself. All right, and they all leveled up to level two. Or you're of light. Resolution. Uh, okay, I don't really care about that. I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before they found me. And the letter was on its way. Alright, so much for the wise and hag. That group continues to prove itself. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you guys next time. And until then, have a terrific day.